Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Mastin, that's Zim Tech Guy. So in this video, I want to show you how to create this callout feature. Before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, please help the channel out by subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please press the thumbs up button. So without wasting time, let's get into it. In After Effects, we want to create a new composition. So you can just create new composition. Um, now there, you can just click here to create a composition or you can go to the top, uh, the top menu there under composition, create new composition. Uh, right, uh, my width is 1920, height 1080p, 60 frames. You can choose whichever frames are good for your project. And I want my um, the duration of my project to be 10 seconds long. So let's just click OK. Now, we need some uh, footage to work with. Um, OK, now there's some footage that I downloaded from a website called Pexos. Um, is it? Right, let's use this. Okay, um, I'll leave the link to the footage in the description if you want to work along with it as well. So let me just drag it here. Uh, yeah, this is the footage that we, we are working with. It's just uh, somebody just holding a cell phone. So we want to track the movement of that cell phone. You probably see this maybe on tech reviews, you know, when they'll be tracking different tech objects. So that's what we're trying to do today. Now, the first thing we need to do now is to track the movement of the phone. So the good part about it is that there's a built-in tracker in After Effects that we can use. Um, it's right here. If you don't see it, you can go under Window. Make sure that Tracker is selected. That's another way of uh, seeing the tracker. Now, um, for it to work, we just need to highlight the text that we're working with. And we want to use Track Motion. Okay. Right, and we need to move this to a place where there's a little bit of contrast. So uh, I can use this dark part here. I think there's uh, good contrast around here. Let's see if we can uh, uh, move one frame forward. No, just make sure that the playhead is at the beginning. Anyway, let's move one frame. Or let's just, uh, let's just play it through and see if it tracks the, the phone well. All right. So yeah, now that we have our tracking information, we just, we just want, we want to create uh, a place where we can store this, uh, this information. So let's go ahead, right click, create new now object. Okay, so we have now one there. Um, let's go back to the tracker here and we want to edit target. We want to make sure that the target is now object one. So let's just uh, click OK. After we're done with that, we want to click apply. Apply dimension X and Y. Just press OK. OK. Now, what we need to do is to um, create the, the triangle, you know, where we have our text. So to do that, just make sure that uh, you're not uh, even highlighted anything. We want to use the pen tool. Just click on the pen tool, and from the point where there's that red dot, just click um, down. Okay. So before you do that, just make sure that uh, the fill here is not highlighted. We don't want to use the fill, but we want to use the stroke. Um, yeah, white. Uh, Want to use white to make sure that uh, it's uh, the dimension. What I'm I'm working with eight eight pixels here. So yes, so let's continue drawing. Actually, let's just start again here. Just start there. Um, the side. Just want to draw a triangle. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna just go back a bit here. Okay. Um, 
that. So it is smooth this part. So it's a bit perfect. No. Uh, so you just make sure that uh, you just set this up according to your preferences. Just make sure that it's okay. So oh, what's happening? Um. New text layer and just say call out. Um, okay, just see if we can fit it in here. Okay, let's just go back to the text there. Text layer there. Yeah, just drag it out a bit so that it's. Uh, the text actually fits in there. Uh, let's just move the text as well. All right. So that's where the text will be. Let's see how it's looking. Let's just play that back. All right. Now, um, what we need to do is to animate the line. Let's make sure. Okay. We want to animate. Um, the, the, the triangle so we need to under shape layer there we need to add um, an effect called trim pads All right um, so just under trim pads here let's just click this drop down under end here I'm not sure if you can see but this is how it will be I'm animating so from the beginning let's just make sure that somewhere here we click the stopwatch and by the time I just want the animation to be quick, maybe by the time it gets somewhere here, uh, it is animated. So let me just preview that for you so in so that you see what's happening. Uh, let's just take that back. Yes, so the speed is fine for me. I uh, just wanted to be quick, so let's just highlight those uh, keyframes, right click, um, or press F9. Let's easy ease them. Let's see how that's coming up. Okay, like it maybe. Can highlight them as well and go to the graph editor um, okay maybe I want let's see if we can uh, let's see how that comes out okay 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 or maybe let's just balance it out make sure that it's okay yeah, so you can do um, animate this according to your preferences, but uh, let's just work with that for the sake of time. All right, um, hmm, that is too fast. Let me see if I can just spread the, the frames apart a bit. Uh huh, that's better now. That's that's better. All right, so by the time we get to the end here, I want this is the time I want the text to be in its position so we can also just drop down the text they want to um, animate the position of the text so let's just click that stopwatch and just go back maybe um, or else maybe it's somewhere here let's uh, drag the text out of this uh, the box there let's see how that's coming let's play it okay now need to uh, highlight our keyframes for the text want to easy ease them as well let's see okay i like that i'm sure we can go and play with the graph as well on there um so i want it to to be faster you know when in the end i want it to start slow and get faster in the end let's see that okay yeah let's work with that now obviously there's no mystery here so what we need to do is um, let's just go back we wanted to uh, create the effect that is popping out of from the from the bottom of the triangle 
so we need to create a mask here let's just go back to somewhere here uh, make sure that nothing is highlighted we want to go back to the pen tool this time around uh, we don't want the stroke to be active um, okay but we want the fill uh, the fill to be um, yeah we can choose any color here uh, let's just work with this green I just want to highlight uh, the box essentially what this means is that where you want the text to appear is where you draw this box um, and we'll use the track mat uh, in our layer they want to track uh, to the layer that we're masking on so that the text only appears in that green box so let's uh, go back down here under co the callout layer uh, make sure that track mat is highlighted we want to alpha mat shape layer 2 boom so let's just go back a few frames and see the effect now okay like that all right i'm kind of like the way it's coming out okay um right so so far so good let me just highlight these uh, three uh, the shape layer one shape layer two and just let me just pre-compose these um, that means I'm just combining I'm just grouping them um, let me just call these ones the text uh, part because that's the part of the text can come out pan behind two um, and click on our anchor point and drag it to the start of that line Yes, you see in a minute um, what uh, what that happens. So let's just make sure that we drop down the text part uh, pre-composed layer there. And under transform, we want to look for position. And also the now layer, let's drop down. And we also want to look for the position as well. Now I want to use the rope on the position of the text part to connect it to our now point where there's the information uh, from our tracker. So let's just click it and drag it there. Okay. Now let's just see if we can play it back. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, now I'm not sure what's happening there, but let's okay. As you can see, let me just see if we can preview that. Alright. So as you can see the it's working we managed to do what we wanted to do but i feel like we can actually um add a bit more character because the text for me is just uh, too plain uh, it's just so basic i'm sure we can add now uh like i said we need to just add a bit more character to to the whole uh triangle and the text as well so Let's just double click in this compose layer. Let's just right click, um, create an adjustment layer there. Uh, let's just highlight it and uh, let's go under effect. We want to use stylize. Um, it's uh, okay. Let's use maybe rough and edges. Um, now what this what this does is just it uh, does what it says. It roughens the edges. You know, it just creates this like. Uh, what can I say? This just a different kind of look like a grungy sort of look uh let's go to the comp main comp and see what i'm saying um let's just um uh, preview that okay now you see there's a bit more character to it now it's a bit better so yeah there you have it guys um i hope you learned something from this tutorial um yeah, if you have any other tutorial that you want me to work on, just let me know in the comment section below. I hope uh, if you're new to After Effects, uh, it's a good place to start uh, learning about these uh, simple effects using the tracking tool and uh, to create colored objects. Otherwise, yeah, there you have it. Uh, it's been Master. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. See you in the next video.